Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we're here to do a reading for March. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of March. This is being recorded in February, so it's basically a preview, right? So I urge you to really watch this in March, okay? Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these, we're going to get one of these, and then we're going to use that deck right there. What do we have for the sign of Cancer? lovers you could be dealing with a Gemini um, unexpected this could be an unexpected choice in love that you have to make you know maybe there's a new soulmate connection or you're involved in a soulmate connection I'm not sure typically this is a choice though you got to make a choice typically between two paths and there's consequences for the choice that you make so you definitely have an um, an option for love in March, but it's going to be your choice. You have a choice, okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus. Just saying. Gotta have faith. Gotta have trust. Believe. This is represented by Gemini, for those of you that don't know. Could be any other sign. I'm just, for some reason, I'm pointing that out. It's, it's a beautiful connection, whatever it is. You probably have a really beautiful, soulful connection with somebody. You know, you just got to have faith in it. And you got to follow your heart. What do we have for Cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oh, it's your perfect match. It is your perfect match. This is the person that completes you. This is the person that completes you. Right? Yeah, there may be some opposition, but it's that perfect opposition, right? It's where you guys, you know, you complement each other very, very well. So, I, you know, I feel like you are coming in... Perhaps union with your perfect match? Maybe? Now remember, <laughs> this will not resonate with every single person. It may or it may not. Some people aren't ready. And if you've told the universe you're not ready, well, you know, you got to change your thoughts. Anyhow. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we got? You may be being divinely guided towards this person at this time. <laughs> you know, this is a four. Two plus two equals four. I gotta take a quick drink. Hold on. What do we got for Cancer for the month of March? You know, this is sideways. You'd call this a challenge. I'm not sure. I'm going to put this back in the deck because of the way it came out. But you definitely could be doing, dealing with an air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, there may have been some unfairness there, there or you've been dealing with some unfairness. Um some challenges there's been some challenges with opening your heart maybe there's been some challenges with you know heart versus mind you know what's what should I do maybe you've been conflicted you know and you're just not seeing a situation clearly who knows or this could be the person that you're dealing with you may be trying to protect yourself in some way you know and you're being called to you know let your guard down I'm gonna put that back in and see if it comes back out what do we have for Cancer? Mm, the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So you may be moving. 
Maybe you're not happy where you're at. Maybe there's a loss of abundance. There's a loss of stability. Um, or there's just a lack, you know. There's a lack of stability. There's a lack of abundance. Maybe um, something is falling away. You can't save it anymore. You know, it's like the abundance is slipping away, whatever it is. Stability is slipping away. <laughs> Maybe you're dealing with some family issues at home. Wow. So there's definitely some mental anguish here. You're losing sleep, right? Having a hard time sleeping at night because of some sort of loss. Maybe you've lost that perfect match. And that's, or maybe you, who knows what has happened here, but there's some sort of despair over, you know, some sort of loss. Something has been delayed. The Knight of Pentacles. Like somebody didn't pass a test. Somebody didn't act with integrity. They may have taken too long. Somebody may have taken too long to, you know. To deal with their insecurities. There's definitely insecurities here that are. Hindering success, put it that way. A lot of this is mental, though. Hmm. Somebody's been hemming and hawing about moving forward when they should have just taken a step. Mm. It's... You know, it's, it, there's an ability to take back control. There's an ability to restore control in a situation. But it looks like somebody may have let addictions get in the way. But there's still an opportunity. There's an opportunity to take control. To break free of some sort of mentality. Whatever that is. Somebody may be thinking about going back to something that was stable, but that's what this is. Thinking about going back to something that was stable. Or they may be thinking about leaving something that is unstable. Could go either way. Definitely thinking about it. Thinking about emotional fulfillment and really having a hard time sleeping at night because of some sort of loss. And it's like maybe you have resisted change for so long that perhaps now the opportunity has slipped away. Maybe it's you or the other person. Somebody has resisted change and, you know, been unable to step outside of their own thinking that perhaps now they've lost an opportunity. Yeah, somebody has op lost an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. There's definitely, I mean, with the Nine of Cups reversed and the Ten of Pentacles, there's a... There's a loss of wish fulfillment, and it's because of perhaps ego, maybe um, pride, uh, addictions. You know, it's like somebody didn't want to face the reality of a situation trying to prove themselves, and now they may have lost the opportunity completely. And now it's like, damn, I can't get over this, I can't get over this. But whoever the person is that didn't make a move, that just like stayed stuck in their own tracks, you know, they had the opportunity to move forward, but they didn't. Somebody took a really, really long time hemming and hawing, and now it's like they want to go back or they... want to take back control of a situation but they probably fear it's too late you know so I feel like we have somebody here that is definitely wanting to take back control wanting to get things back on on solid ground you know I, I want to um, I don't want to let something go somebody doesn't want to let something go they want to they want to fix it by the looks of things um 
this is a this is a month of basically like taking back your power you know it's like a power shift i think that somebody has decided to give up because another person took too long another person took too long so the other person gave up and now the person that took too long is realizing that they have the opportunity to take back control of this situation if they see things differently and they get unstuck and they stop lying some I mean seven of swords somebody has been lying about their wish fulfillment about what they really want you know and it's like now it's like I have to I have to be truthful I have to be honest I have to come out of my ego I have to step up to the plate I have to take the lead here and I have to protect what's mine so I feel like we have somebody here that has let go and the other person doesn't want them to let go I don't want you to let go so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to take control of this situation um, Somebody has been really materialistic here with these two cards. Definitely very materialistic, focused on their their money, their job, their business, whatever, their, their role in society. And that has impacted their ability to move forward, okay? Ego is big here. Somebody's ego has got in the way of a partnership, okay? In the way of a partnership. So I feel like now somebody is realizing that it's time to stand up. It's time to be strong. It's time to, you know, be responsible. There's been definitely been dishonesty here. There's been a lack of communication. There's been a lack of truth that has been revealed, which has caused somebody to just give up. It's getting old. I can't hold on to this dead end situation. So I feel like somebody is letting go of a, a, a situation that they feel is dead. And the other person sees that they have let go and it's like, no, no, I'm not letting that happen. Um, yeah, I want this new beginning. I want this new, new fresh start. So, you know, I feel like there's this new spark. There's this new fire within. Somebody has found this new desire to take back their power, to take back control. There's no doubt. You see where this card landed. It's like, I haven't been happy where I'm at. There's no abundance where I'm at. And the only way I'm going to get that wish fulfillment that I so dream of is for me to take a new approach. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to um, really take the lead. It's like, I'm really going for what I want. This is what I want. You know, really, it's like they have this newfound desire. This is what I want, and I have to go and get it. Um, because the opportunity is, is gone. It's like it's just about gone. The opportunity is lost. It's like it's almost lost. It's almost hit the ground. It's just about over. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a huge opportunity to throw away. It really is. And I think that somebody realizes that this opportunity is too big to really let it slip away. So I see that we have a lost opportunity because somebody wasn't honest. Somebody was stuck in their own thoughts. Somebody was um, letting their ego and their pride get in the way. And now they want to go back before it's literally dead. You know, um, it could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, like I said, a Gemini. Um, you definitely have a lot of earth energy here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um... It looks to me like it's time to be practical. It's time to be responsible. It's time to grow up. I'm not saying that you're not grown up, whether this is the other person. I don't know who it is. But somebody is seeing that there is a stable opportunity to be had. And I feel like they're, they're deciding, like, it's time to be practical. It's time to be responsible. It's time to, to be the boss here. So I feel like we have somebody here that is trying to take a mature approach after there was some cut in communication or, or a lack of communication or perhaps they just weren't seeing things clearly but the hangman reversed and the ace of swords reversed they weren't seeing things clearly and like and it's now now it's like all of a sudden they're they're seeing things in a more practical sense you know um perhaps you know they were dealing with another person that kept them stuck I'm not sure it looks like there's been a monkey in the middle that has been you know part of the reason that this person hasn't 
came forth. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a lover, I don't know. I think there's a person here that is very negative and perhaps, you know, this person hasn't been able to come forward because of this person's emotional state of mind, the other person's emotional state of mind. Somebody here has been lazy. They didn't have the self-worth, the self-confidence, the, the self-esteem, the courage, the ability to... There's no ambition, you know, no drive. There's somebody in this mix that is kind of like miserable that, you know... This person has held this other person back. They have. And it's gotten old. It's gotten old. It's like... Hmm. So I don't know who this person is. Could be a fire sign. Could be anybody, but... Who is this person? somebody with hidden agendas I think we have somebody in the mix whether it's on the other person's side or on your side that you know is hindering a relationship it's like this person is in the way of the relationship And perhaps that's why this person hasn't been able to follow their intuition. They haven't been able to move forward because they know that there's another person that doesn't want them to come in. You know, they don't want... This other person is miserable. Misery loves company, right? So I feel like we got somebody here that is hindering a relationship. Hindering, stopping another person from communicating because of this person. Could be a friend, could be a lover, I don't know. Um, <laughs> somebody is being called to follow their inner guide but they're not doing it because I think that they're worried they're worried about what the other person is going to do to hinder the success we got this miserable person that will do anything to not let this opportunity grow. You know what I mean? What I'm trying to say? I think we got somebody here that, you know, wants to have a relationship, wants to move forth, wants to make something work, but then there's this other person that's a problem, you know? But we do have an opportunity to begin again. We do with that Ace of Wands. It's like somebody is thinking, you know, it's time. It's time. It's time for me to go get this before it's really gone. And maybe this other person is telling this other person that you should leave. Don't ever go back. That kind of thing. <laughs> oh, I don't know where this is coming from. But will this other person listen? I mean, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this other person's going to follow their heart. So I wouldn't let that hold you back. I wouldn't let that hold you back. Put it that way. Um, there's an opportunity to start over. There's an opportunity to relight this fire or to, re or to light a fire under somebody's ass or to, you know, <laughs> let the sparks fly. There is. There's an opportunity to take back control of some sort of loss, okay? Somebody has lost a big opportunity, and there's an opportunity to get it back before it's completely gone. That's what I have to say. But there's been a lot of secrets, there's been a lot of lies, and there's been a lot of deception. And the only way that things are going to be okay is with communication. I can see there's been no communication, or there's been a lack of communication severely. 
and I think we have somebody here that is really thinking about, you know, taking back their security that has been lost, but they're just in the process. They're thinking about it right now. They're thinking, 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 but they know that this will make them happy. So there's an opportunity for a rebirth. There's opportunity for renewal. There's an opportunity for extreme happiness here with a perfect match if somebody can, you know, come out of their repression somebody can be practical somebody can step forward instead of stalling because it looks like something is just about dead i mean the overall outcome it's it's just about dead but there's an opportunity for a revival okay there is an opportunity for a revival there's no doubt there is the only way that you can stop this situation from completely dying is to have hope and faith believe Remember, I, I think I said it at the beginning, believe, believe, have hope and faith. You know, this is an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. It is. But the only way that you're going to get the wish fulfillment is to believe. You have to believe. You have to have hope. You know, believe that it's not over. Believe in happiness. Believe in renewal. Believe in rebirth. There's an opportunity to heal a situation before it's too late. Whatever that means. These are both healing cards. It's almost over. We're at the verge of this being dead. But the only way to stop it from dying is to nurture it. This is nurture it, to grow it, to, you know... Believe in it. You know, make that move. Move forward. Stop staying in the shitty situation that you're in. Stop staying stuck. Stop staying where it's not happy. Get to that better place. Actually, get on board. Go. Paddle. Make that move. Go where you need to go. Do what you got to do. Head towards whatever is going to make you happy. Just do it. Go. Make that move. Head towards wish fulfillment. Head towards your happiness. Stop staying where it's not good. And whoever the other person is, whether it's on your side or the other person is, on the other person's side, whoever the person is that is negative, that is in the middle, to hell with them. They'll get over it. They'll get over it. You have to fight for what you want. If you don't fight for what you want, it's going to be over. Defend yourself. Go after what you want at this time because it can lead to something really, really happy, something really good. So I feel like you guys have an opportunity to fall in love with your perfect match. And I think that there's been some opposition here. There has. There has. There's been some serious opposition here. There's been some sort of um, conflict that it probably involves another person. And it's probably, you know, somebody, this person may not want the other person to go back, but fuck them. It's about you. It's about it's about love. It's about partnership. It's about wish fulfillment. It's about happiness at this point. So I feel like there's an opportunity for two people to come together that are absolutely meant to be together, but it starts with having faith. It starts with believing and with somebody making that move. Somebody needs to make that move, step outside of their pride, step outside of their ego, you know? Somebody has really been thinking about thinking, 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 and losing sleep about this person that they know is perfect for them. But there's other people th that are in the way, at least one person. But there's an opportunity to restore control. There's an opportunity to, you know, relight that fire to rekindle a flame. I don't know where that is coming from. If you believe, if you have faith, if you 
make that move instead of staying where you're at i mean somebody has been completely stagnant like stuck like refusing to move forward and while they've been refusing to move forward the other person is at the verge of completing this cycle i mean somebody you can only stay stuck for so long before it ends So I feel like there's like an opportunity to fight for love and to make it successful and to make it, you know, beautiful. If somebody can actually head in that direction, I mean, you really need to make the move. So for some of you, there's somebody brand new coming into your life. That could lead to happiness. It's what you've been praying for. This is a this is a this is an answer to your prayers. It really is. Either way. Both. This is the answer to your prayers. Whatever you've been praying for, whether you've been praying for somebody new or you've been praying for somebody from your past, this is the answer to your prayers because this is wish fulfillment. So what you have been wishing for. There's an opportunity for it to come into your life at this time, but it starts with you making some sort of move. you got to make the move, whatever that means. If you're holding on to a dead-end situation, you got to let go of it so that you can have this happiness. you got to fight for what you deserve. you got to fight for wish fulfillment. you got to make the move, whatever it is. Somebody is holding on to a dead-end situation. Somebody else is letting go of a situation it's actually dissolving because they're not making a move we have a situation here that is dissolving it's it's falling away it's slipping away because somebody's ego is in the way Either way, we have a new opportunity here. We have a new opportunity for a passionate new beginning that could lead to a lot of happiness and bliss. But somebody literally has to, to like make that move. They have to make the move instead of being stuck. They have to face their fears. Take control of the situation before it's too late, whatever that means. We're going to get one of these for cancer. So, you know, I feel like this is a time of perhaps renewal, rebirth, <laughs> new love perhaps, it could be even a reconciliation. There's definitely an attraction that is undeniable here. There's wish fulfillment. It's like you are being given a blessing. You have an opportunity to receive exactly what you want, the answer to your prayers, but you can't, you have to make the move. Whatever that means, I don't know. You have to make the move. If you're holding on to that dead end situation, you gotta cut the cord. If you are not wanting something to end, you gotta make the move so that it doesn't end. You know what I mean? Whatever that means. Whatever you want, that's what your wish fulfillment is, right? Whatever you want, there's an opportunity to get what you want. If you make a move, fight for what you want. I mean, I can't make that shit up. Whatever it is, it's just about over with the death card reverse. It's not over yet. There's still a chance. There's still a chance for survival here. There is. But somebody's going to have to come out of their ego and they're going to have to stop stalling because it's just about dead. Whatever it is. Hmm. Purpose. I know what I am here to do. And you know what you're supposed to do at this time. Remember I said you got to have faith. you got to have trust. you got to believe. Believe in your heart's desire. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. It doesn't. 
I mean, that's how I feel. I don't care what anybody else says. I'm going to follow my heart, and I think you should too. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. These are basically, this card and this card, basically the same card. It is. Trust. Have faith. Listen to your inner guide. Your inner guide knows what you want. We have, we have a perfect match here. Yes, there's some opposition, but it's, that's what you need. You, this, is, this is a divine connection. It is. It's a perfect match. It is a perfect match. But you have to believe in it. You have to trust. You have to go for it. Listen to your inner guide and nobody else. That's my advice. Good luck.